Creating the perfect app is really simple. To create the perfect app, you only need two things. One, to reproduce what your competitors are doing well. And two, to improve what they are doing wrong. In other words, you need to know what your potential customer thinks, needs, desires. To achieve this purpose, we will script app reviews with the new version of Octopus. You can download Octopus right away, it's free. My name is Francois, and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, we will script app reviews from Google Play and from Target. So the challenge of this video will be the following. We can see that on the one hand, we've got the entire content of the reviews. But on the other hand, we need to click on full review in order to have access to the entire review. So that will be the challenge for today. We will manage it. There is nothing complicated about that. To start a new task, we need to copy our URL and to paste it on Octopus. We've got the targeted website and it's really a special case because we face an infinite scrolling technique. Basically, it means that in order to load more reviews, we need to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And we need to scroll it down like multiple times. Let's make a test. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page once, twice, three times, four times, and it's four times. We need to scroll down to the bottom of the page four times, and then we will click on the show more button in order to have access to more reviews, exactly. So the first step is to go to the options, to click and scroll down the page after it's loaded. And as we have said, to the bottom of the page is really good, and we will scroll down to the bottom of the page four times. Now we can extract our data automatically within a few clicks. We click on the yellow button and auto-detect web page data. We just need to wait a little bit. Here we are, we've got a lot of information. We need to uncheck add a page scroll, both add a page scroll and click on the load more button. The load more button actually is related to the show more button that appears on the screen, but we will deal with it afterwards. For the moment, we click on create workflow. As you can see, I've changed the name of my columns and I only keep the name, the date, the number of likes and the content. Now there are actually two things we need to change. Actually, there is one thing we need to add and one thing we need to fix. The things we need to add is the star rating. So I click on the star rating for the first element. I click and extract the text of the element. But unfortunately, we've got an empty column. But if I click on more, customize field extract attributes, and I click on area label, Okay, sometimes it doesn't work the first time. I don't know what was the reason. Okay, actually it worked. And it's written rated one stars out of five stars, rated three stars out of five stars, and so on. Now we have dealt with the thing we had to add, but now we need to deal with the thing we need to fix. And the thing we need to fix is related to the content. Because look, we have access to the content, but only to the content from the beginning to the full review button. So here is how we will proceed. In order to script the entire review, we will copy and paste this XPath. So I copy it, then I click on more, customize XPath. I delete the current XPath, I paste the new one, and it seems like nothing has changed, but actually a lot of things have changed. Okay, let me show you what I did. I click on the XPath helper, which is a really useful Chrome extension to verify your XPath. I paste my XPath. And look, the first review is 
a full review. And it starts like this, blah, 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 blah. And then we've got full review with exactly the same text. So it means this comment is divided into two parts. So basically we've got the first part, which represents the first part of the review. And then we've got the second part, which represents the full review, which means from the first letter to the last one. And this is the same thing for every full reviews. But now for non-full reviews, like the second one, we can see it starts with wish I could look. So it's here and there is no two parts. So for non-full reviews, it's only one part which is related to the full comment. And for the full reviews, it's divided into two parts. The first part which represents the first part of the review and the second part which represents the entire review. This is almost perfect. We just need to clean our file a little bit in order to remove the first part of the review for the full reviews. We click on more, clean data, add step and replace with regular expression. If we are not sure of what kind of regex we will write, we can click and try the regex tool. I want to remove the first part of my text, as I've said, in order to keep this part. So I say that my regex will end with full reviews. Just like this, I click on generate, I click on match, and I have access to the first part of my text. And this part of my text will be deleted. I click on apply, evaluate in order to double check. That sounds okay, my output is really good. I click on confirm and on apply. I wait a little bit and here it is. It's better, but as you can see, we've got like the word full review, which is a bit annoying. I also want to remove this part and then we will get a really clean column. So I'm going to click on more clean data once again. This time I click on replace with regular expression as well. And as a regular expression, I type full review just like this. And if I evaluate, we can see that we have removed the full review which appeared at the beginning of my text. I click on confirm, then I click on apply and here it is. It's much better. This part was a bit long, but this was necessary to make your final result just perfect. Then the next step is to click on the show more button. That will help you to have access to as many reviews as possible. So I click on show more button and I'm going to create a loop. And as an Ajax timeout, I'm going to set up something like 10 seconds. Your task is over. You just need to save it, to click and run. If you are a premium user of Octopus, run in the cloud. It will help you to get faster. Otherwise, run on your device, just works fine. We've got a result around 700 new lines. It sounds really good actually. We just need to export a file, remove duplicates, and we save our task in an Excel format. I'll just let you take a look of what it looks like. As you can see, we've got the entire content, the entire description each time. Hope my video got your confusion cleared away. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos regarding Octopass and web scraping. We will always keep you updated.